let's talk a little bit about visualization. Now, with a large number of rules, it's just, it's absolutely impossible. It's very difficult to, um, to be able to spot trends. Uh, however, there is a package that was created. It's A rules, viz, and let's see, we have the documentation. Let me call that up. That gives you high level plots of different types of plots to enable you to compare uh, the levels for, for example, support, confidence, and lift among the different factor levels in the in the data. Um, actually, most of the plots just simply give you comparisons for support, confidence, and lift. We'll take a look at some of these. Let's go in here and take a look at the the A rules viz package. It's right here. Hansler, Has I'm sorry, Hassler, and Cheluboina are the authors and the description doesn't tell us a whole lot more. Um, various visualization techniques for association rules and item sets. Uh, you also have interactive plots that is pretty pretty cool. Let's look at some of these basics. Now we'll go back and use the other script to do this initially and so we're going to skip for now, uh, the transactional example here with D DVDs. Okay, so if you, uh, we're, so we're down here at visualizing rules. If you're, if you haven't before, you need to install a rules viz. Let's call up the, uh, let's load it. So we load it into our workspace, and we're going to use the groceries data set. Uh, groceries contain sales data. Of groceries, there are 9,835 separate transactions, and the entire data set, there are 169 items. So, groceries again is one of those. Uh, it's one of those data packages that are available in either A rules or A rules viz or data sets. So you don't have to do anything special. Uh, we can take a look at it. But instead, let's just look at the summary for it. And I believe this is actually loaded by A rules viz. So it lists out nine, we tells us we have 9,835 rows of the 169 variables and that the most frequent items that occur over and over again that occur in the data set are whole milk, other vegetables, rolls and buns. And then it gives us counts for the most commonly, uh, these are just tabulations for the most common number of items that are bought together. And in, in a single transaction, usually a person is just buying one or two. In fact, we see that the mean, I believe, is five. The, mean, the average transaction is to buy five or less items. So we're going to mine it, and so we do that here, and we can take a look at the rules. Note that we get a very large number of, of rules. We get um, quickly generates 5,668 5, rules. And so it's just impossible really to sort through that. If we look at, let's just look at the top. By lift, we'll look at the first five rules. And I'm sorry, the first three, the first three rules by lift, which tells us that if somebody buy, has bought hamburger meat, it's quite, no, let's say that again. Uh, lift is the measure of if somebody buys 
the, the, the items on the left-hand side, instant food products and soda, uh, the, the frequency of occurrence of buying meat is quite, is quite high. So when people buy instant food products and soda, it's, there's a lot of leverage. There's a lot of increased probability they'll buy hamburger meat. When people buy soda and popcorn, very high chance that they'll buy a salty snack because it has a high lift. People buy flour and baking soda, very high probability, increased probability they're going to buy sugar. Okay, so that's nice to know, but it's also useful to be able to create these different visualizations. So we're going to do that. And um, here's a generic of the plot syntax in the A rules viz. Note again, the use of the control argument in the plot function, the, the generic plot function, the method, the plot method for A rules viz, control is frequently used to be able to um, incorporate other parameters, and that's certainly what it does here. Note there's also a, an argument for the plot method. This is not plot overall. This is just plot for A rules viz, where you can make it interactive, and we'll look at one example of that. The, the default is to turn it off. Okay, so let's do a couple of these. So here's a scatter plot of association rules. Now, if you just say plot, two, the two measures, the first two measures are shown, support and confidence. And uh, we get a, take a look. So we're just plotting all the rules. And what we're really plotting are the measures of those uh, parameters. So uh, we have the, the, the scatter plot shows you the frequency of uh, levels of support and confidence for each of the 5,668 rules, but it incorporates, it's using lattice to incorporate uh, a, the third variable in the form of a legend lift where the darker these are frequency counts so uh, the darker shaded uh, uh, plotting symbols mean they have a higher lift and what we find here a couple of things we find generally high lift low support because you have the darker items are scrunched up over here on the left hand side of support and what else can we see here? You can also you can switch around the uh, the axis labeling of these three measures: confidence, support, and lift. And you have um, let's see, have some other measures for the quality of the rules and um, so that's just showing us levels there for those but let's for example let's change the plot around by switching the lift and confidence so note we're calling plot but the it's using the plot function in the a rules.viz package specifically because we attached it with the library command so it's not using the generic plot okay and so we're going to change support and lift and instead of having lift the shading of lift we're, we're going to use the shading of confidence and what we get when we do that let me zoom this easier to look at We, what do we note? We note a couple of things. Um, their confidence and support also seems to be inversely related because the dark items, again, are on the left-hand side. Uh, but there also seems to be, how would I call this, uh, uh, exponential maybe fit between lift and support. Let's see what the author says. The author says, Order is the number of items contained in the rule 
we can see that order and support have a very strong inverse relationship, which is a known fact. Confidence is directly related to the number of items that are in the rule. If there's more observations that fit that rule, that it has a higher confidence. So this could be a little confusing because they're using the term order, but what order actually is is confidence. Okay, so we, we see again that confidence and support are inversely related. And a couple of other things we could do here, we can, can give it a different title. So this is a so-called two-key plot. And so here we have the order, these orders are their numbers, but also they're related to confidence. So we, we can see uh, more specifically uh, how many items are in each rule and that they, as the number of items go up, support is, is certainly less.